Hi and welcome to another awesome tutorial and today we'll be showing you how to create return reason library and return reason group in Aftership Return Center. Awesome! So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first thing you'd want to do is, you want to make sure you're on your Aftership Return Center admin panel. And once you're here on this page, go ahead and click on Return Settings. Perfect! And now, all you want to do is you simply scroll down until you see returns reasons. And once you come up here, you can simply edit a previous reason or add a new reason. So basically, these are the options you're giving your customers to find out why your customers frequently ask for returns. And you can also group return reasons by product type. So you can only display reasons that are relevant to each product. Now let's go ahead and add a new reason. To do that, simply click on Add Reason. Awesome! Now go ahead and give your reason category a name. I'll just paste a reason name that I already copied. The product didn't match the description. Great! Now let's add a sub-reason to help your customers narrow down with their feedback. And I'll say different color. Perfect! Now let me add a bunch more. Let's add a new sub-reason. Incomplete order, new reason, missing item. New reason, bad quality. Awesome! Now that looks more detailed. Obviously, these are just mine. So don't copy me, come up with your own reasons. Moving on, at the bottom we have detailed information. Which means, by ticking on these two options, you can enable your customers to make comments and upload their images. So you can get more information on their returned reason. These are optional, so tick them on if you'd like that feature. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we enable the comments. Cool! So once we enable the comments, we get two options, optional or required. Optional just means that the option to comment will be there, but they're not required to drop comments. And the bottom one means that they have to drop comments. I'll just leave it to optional. Next, let's enable images upload. And we have the same two options, optional or required. And I'll just keep that to required. Perfect! And once you're done, simply click on the Save button to save the changes. Awesome! And as soon as you press Save, you'll be taken back to the Return Settings page. Now, let's scroll down and see if our new reason group is there. And yes, the product didn't match the description reason is there. Awesome! You can also edit the previous reasons by clicking on the Edit button. Um, let's see how that works. Let's go ahead and fix the first reason. Let's click on Edit. Perfect. Let's quickly add a sub-reason. Hmm, different color. And now let's enable the comments and click on Save. Oops. Now because we're updating a previous reason, you'll be given an option box telling you that if you update your reason, it'll also be updated on all groups with this reason and also invalidate return routing rules that you've already set. So make sure you don't contradict your return routing rules. And if you're firm and you want these changes to be applied, simply click on Update and your reason will be updated. And awesome! As you can see, the option to comment and upload images has been enabled. And for the one below, we only have Images Upload Enabled. Next up, you can also configure return reasons based on different categories and groups. So any product that doesn't belong to a specific group can be classified into default group. So let's see how that works. Let's add a reason group. Perfect! And now, let's go ahead and add the reason group name. So, for example, I'll choose this category to be clothing. And for product types, Make sure you add the product types that fall under our clothing category. So let's add product types. Shirts, tops, knitwear, blouses, robes, and sweaters. Excellent! Now you can rearrange the order of these reasons or delete the return reasons if they do or do not fall under our product type. And you can also choose to randomize reasons. So if you tick on this option, they won't be in a certain order but rather shown off in a random order to your customers. And once you're done, simply click on Save to save your changes. Awesome! And if you scroll down, you'll see that we have a new reason group 
called clothing. And we have all the tags that we added earlier. Excellent. And that's a wrap of the tutorial. Like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problems or any issues that you're facing, please let us know and we'll make sure that we do our best to fix all your issues. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, good luck and I'll see you next time.